Remember that summer when you came back to school and Tommy was suddenly taller than the basketball hoop? Yeah, puberty hit him like a freight train made of hormones and milk. The hormone mafia running your body. Your pituitary gland is basically Tony Soprano sitting in your brain, ordering hits on your growth plates. This pea-sized boss releases growth hormone, GH, in pulses throughout the day, but here's the kicker. 70% of it happens while you're drooling on your pillow at night. That's right, you're literally growing in your sleep like some kind of werewolf, except instead of fur, you're getting awkwardly long limbs that knock everything off coffee tables. The real party starts when puberty kicks in. Your hypothalamus, the pituitary's underboss, starts releasing gene RH, gonadotropin-releasing hormone, like it's going out of style. This triggers a cascade including testosterone and estrogen, which team up with growth hormone like the Avengers of Vertical Expansion. Boys get a testosterone surge around age 11 to 13 that can increase their growth rate from 2 inches per year to 4 inches. Some dudes hit 6 inches in a year and walk around like newborn giraffes learning how their legs work. Girls hit their stride earlier, around age 9 to 11, thanks to estrogen, which is both their best friend and worst enemy. It jumpstarts growth but also tells bones to stop growing sooner. Talk about a toxic relationship. Why you're not growing at breakfast? Here's something that'll mess with your head. You're actually taller in the morning than at night, by about 1 to 2 centimeters. Your spine compresses throughout the day from gravity and that terrible posture you have while scrolling TikTok. By bedtime, your vertebral discs are squeezed like stress balls, making you shorter. Sleep horizontal for 8 hours and boom, you're tall again. It's like a daily subscription to height that expires every evening. Growth happens at your epiphyseal plates, aka growth plates, which are basically construction zones at the ends of your long bones. These plates are made of cartilage that's softer than a TikToker's attempt at historical accuracy. New cartilage cells multiply like rabbits on Red Bull, stack up in columns, die dramatically, and get replaced by hard bone tissue. It's like a biological assembly line, except instead of making cars, it's making you tall enough to reach the top shelf without standing on your tiptoes, like a ballet dancer. During peak growth velocity, Dr. Speak for growing like a weed, girls can gain 3.5 inches per year around age 11 to 12, while boys hit 4 inches per year around 13 to 14. Some absolute units can grow 5 to 6 inches in a single year. Their pants budget must be astronomical. One day their jeans fit, the next day they're wearing capris, fashion disaster or growth spurt, both. The Midnight Construction Crew Your body runs a night shift that would make Amazon warehouse workers jealous. Between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m., your growth hormone levels spike harder than a volleyball at the Olympics. This is when your bones are literally being built, cell by cell, like the world's slowest and most painful 3D printer. While you're having that weird dream about showing up to school naked, your body is running a full construction site. IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor 1, is growth hormone's loyal sidekick, produced mainly in your liver after GH gives it the signal. Think of GH as the architect drawing blueprints and IGF-1 as the construction foreman who actually gets stuff done. Your IGF-1 levels during puberty can be three to four times higher than in childhood, which explains why teenagers can eat an entire pizza, a bag of chips, three sandwiches, and still be hungry 20 minutes later. They're not just feeding themselves, they're feeding a cellular construction project that would make the pyramids look like a weekend DIY. The thyroid hormone jumps in too, because why not complicate things? It regulates your metabolic rate and helps bones mature properly. Without enough thyroid hormone, you'd grow slowly and end up with the bone age of a toddler. Not cute. Your bones would be like, we're 16. While your thyroid is like, nah, we're 8. Mix signals much? Fun fact. Your body produces about 90% of its daily growth hormone output in the first half of the night. Miss those early sleep hours playing Fortnite? Congratulations. You just told your body, I choose to be short. The growth hormone pulse is so predictable that endocrinologists can literally set their watches to it. Peak production hits about one hour after you fall asleep, assuming you didn't caffeinate yourself into oblivion. Growing pains are real and they suck. Remember those nights when your legs felt like someone was stretching them on a medieval torture rack? That's not just drama, it's actual growing pains, affecting 25-40% of kids. Scientists still argue about what causes them, because apparently even pain needs to be mysterious and complicated. The leading theory is that bones grow faster than muscles and tendons can keep up, creating tension. It's like your skeleton is sprinting ahead while your muscles are still tying their shoes, yelling, wait up! These pains usually hit at night, right when growth hormone is throwing its nightly rave in your body. The pain typically affects the thighs, calves, and behind the knees, basically everywhere that would be inconvenient when you're trying to sleep. 
Some kids grow so fast, they get stretch marks on their back, thighs, and even shoulders. That's right, stretch marks aren't just for pregnancy and bodybuilders. Your skin literally can't keep up with your bones' ambitious expansion plans. It's trying its best, but your skeleton is out here acting like Elon Musk with unrealistic deadlines. The craziest growth spurt on record? Robert Wadlow grew 5 inches in just 4 months at age 13. This absolute unit ended up at 8 foot 11 before his growth plates finally got the memo to chill. Most of us complain about buying new shoes twice a year. This guy needed custom shoes every few weeks. His size 37 shoes were 18.5 inches long. That's not a shoe, that's a canoe. The breakfast, myth, and other lies. Eat your vegetables to grow big and strong. Sure, nutrition matters, but unless you're literally starving, those Brussels sprouts aren't making you taller. Your height is 60-80% genetics, which means you can thank or blame your parents for your vertical situation. It's like a genetic lottery where the prize is either reaching the top shelf or forever asking tall people for help. That said, certain nutrients are VIP passes to the growth party. Protein is the building block, you need about 1 gram per kilogram of body weight. Calcium and vitamin D are the bone builders, working together like a construction duo. Zinc makes sure everyone shows up to work. Studies show kids who drink more milk tend to be taller, but correlation isn't causation, maybe tall kids just really like milk, or maybe cows are secretly controlling human evolution through dairy propaganda. Sleep deprivation will absolutely mess you up though. Kids who consistently get less than 8 hours show significantly reduced growth hormone secretion. So when your mom said you need your beauty sleep, she was technically right, except it's more like, height sleep. Every hour of sleep you miss is like telling your growth hormone. Nah, I'm good being short. When the music stops, girls typically stop growing 2 to 2.5 years after their first period, usually around age 14 to 15. Boys keep the party going until 16 to 17, with some late bloomers pushing into their early 20 seconds. This is because estrogen, despite being labeled a female hormone, is actually what closes growth plates in both sexes. Plot twist. Testosterone gets converted to estrogen in the growth plates, which then slams the door shut on growing. It's like estrogen is the bouncer at the growth club, and once it says you're done, you're done. Once those growth plates close, they turn into solid bone through a process called epiphyseal fusion, and that's it. Game over for vertical expansion. You can check if they're closed with an x-ray, which doctors call a bone age test. It's like checking if the kitchen is closed, except the kitchen is your skeleton and it never reopens, no matter how much you beg. The late bloomer lottery. Some kids hit puberty late and spend high school looking up at everyone like they're touring a land of giants. But here's the secret. Late bloomers often end up taller because their growth plates stay open longer. It's like showing up late to the party but staying until 4 a.m. while everyone else crashed at midnight. You miss the appetizers but you got all the leftover pizza. Constitutional growth delay affects about 2.5% of kids, mostly boys, and it's usually genetic. Dad was a late bloomer? Congrats, you probably are too. These kids might be 5'2 at 14 but 6'1 at 18, going through the ultimate glow-up that makes their yearbook photos look like a before and after ad for puberty. The psychological impact is real though. Studies show late bloomers often develop better problem-solving skills because they had to navigate the world from a different perspective, literally. They become masters of reaching high shelves through pure ingenuity. Step stools, Amateur hour. Late bloomers invented the art of climbing kitchen counters like parkour ninjas. When they finally hit their growth spurt, they have all these unnecessary skills, like being able to fit in airplane seats comfortably. What a waste. Scientists just discovered that your gut microbiome might influence growth too. Certain bacteria help produce short-chain fatty acids that affect IGF-1 production. So technically, the bacteria in your intestines are partially responsible for whether you can reach the top shelf. You're not just you, you're a walking apartment complex for trillions of tiny tenants who vote on your height. Speaking of weird growth facts, astronauts grow 2 inches taller in space because there's no gravity compressing their spines, but they shrink back down within months of returning to Earth. Also, your ears and nose never stop growing. So while you're stuck at your adult height, at least something is still reaching for the stars. Mostly your nose, into everyone's business, forever.